Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a $400 entry level gaming PC rig. Now I know this rig won't max out Crisis 3 with this, but it will play most games at least around medium to high settings. To start off, the CPU for this build is an AMD Athlon X4 760K. Now this CPU is a quad core and box clock speed is around 3.8 GHz and it will run you about $85. For the motherboard, I chose the MSI FM2 A75 MAP33. Now th this board is a mini ATX board that supports the CPU and a 6 SATA 3 slots and 2 DIMM slots to put your RAM in. It also has a PCI Express slot to place your GPU and this will cost you around $60. For the graphics card, I went with the F XFX Radeon HD 7770. It has 1GB of GDDR5 memory. And a clock speed of 1 GHz and is capable of cross FireX and will cost you about $105. For the memory, we have a Crucial Ballistic Support RAM. It's a single 4 GB stick of RAM running at 1600 MHz. Now I know 4 gigs isn't a lot of RAM, but it's enough for gaming. And this will cost you about $45. For storage, I went with the Western Digital Caviar Blue Drive. It can hold up to 500 gigs of storage, plenty of room for lots of games and other files like media files. 7200 RPM, so it's decently fast enough. And it's reliable because it's from Western Digital. This will cost you about 50 bucks. For the case, we have the Rosewell Red Bull Mid Tower case. Now, this case is purely up to you, but I recommend this case because it's cheap and it can hold all the parts inside and it's decently built. This will cost you around $30. For the power supply, we have the C Corsair CX430M. Now, this power supply is a bit much for this, our system but that's fine and it's semi-modular so there will be less cables in your case and more room for airflow and it's from Corsair so it's reliable and the PSC will cost you around 30 bucks it's told just around $400 off so thanks for watching guys be sure to subscribe for more builds like this one